Hello, my lovely Capricorns, and welcome back to another reading. This is Davida from Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you for, believe it or not, an October 2020 read. What is going on with Capricorns in love? Somebody wants to go into smoother waters. After a heartbreak. Let's see. Yeah, generally this is you, this is them, and this is the storyline here. You thought a love offer was coming, and I think a love offer did come. But it was not anywhere near that you thought it would be. You've been kind of resting from this heartbreak. I think you actually had to end up walking away. This person came at you with fiery passion, but they couldn't keep it up. I feel like they wanted you and someone else to fight over them. They didn't want to make the choice. They wanted one of you to make the choice and you made the choice to walk away. You're like, I'm not playing this game with you. I'm not doing it. If you don't have the self-esteem and the wherewithal to know, sorry, um, to the wherewithal to know who you want, I'm not going to make that choice for you. So you you walked away. Sad part is they knew that this was a spiritual connection with the Six of Cups here. And because of whatever dysfunction they have, they needed someone to, to prove to them that they were worthy. And you're like, I'm not doing this with you. There's this eight of cups here and it's in the reverse. So now that you've walked away, they're standing there looking at the cups. And they're so caught up in their dysfunction and their low self-esteem that they can't see that it was their choice to make, it wasn't yours. Now, and now they're angry. They're angry with themselves. They're angry at you. I mean, look at the fierceness on that person's face. They're like, you know, and this is in the reverse because this is the communication card. But they're not getting the communication that they wanted. They're not getting this like, oh my God, you need to be with me because you're like the end all be all. And you're like, mm -mm, I ain't playing this game with you. Because it seems like you might have um, been kind of going along with it for a little bit until you realized, oh, this is the game. They desperately want <clears throat> you to offer them something. This person, I feel like you're feeling like they, they need to get their stuff together. They need to have their own self-esteem, their own idea of what needs to happen. Because you don't want to be with someone who can't, who can't stand in their own power. 
you know, and this caused a death for you because you really do love this person. You do feel a deep connection just as they do. What's up with this? You know, you've got the <clears throat> the three of swords here. You're you're healing from this. You know, and you you wanted to see this through. You wanted to create this, but you realize this is up to them. And you realize that even if they come forward to you, they're going to still be not in their power. They're going to be in this passive state of like, come rescue me. Come save me. You know, and you're mature enough to know like, mm, no, you got to save yourself. And then let's come together as, you know, these awakened beings who are able to give and receive love. So this is your stance right now. You're in the King of Swords energy where you're like, no. If you can't come to me in a clear mind, I can't help you. And you've made it very clear, like, that you do love them. And that they've got to, they got to work through their shit. And with this King of Wands here in reverse, they're still waiting for you. They still want you to come and rescue them. With some fiery, passionate energy. You know, and with this, you know, Two of Swords here, you know, this was kind of the decision that they needed to make. But they wouldn't make it, so you made it for them. You're like, fine, if you don't want to make a decision, go with the other person. You know, and it might not have even been another person. It was more about... For the majority of you, it was more about them not taking their power. And you're like, I don't want to be with some person who's, who's weak. You know, and with this um, Six of Cups comes the reverse judgment. It was like, they feel judged. And this is, you know, honestly, this is going to put them in the dark night of the soul. You know, because they feel like they were stabbed. It was like they thought you were going to come and rescue them, and you were like, nope, bye-bye. And it broke their heart, too. You know, with this communication, they're waiting for this solid, grounded communication, but they're starting to realize. And this is hard for you. This is hard for you not to come forward and want to make this situation right. You know, and with this page of pentacles, here comes the death card in reverse. You have to let them go through their dark night of the soul. You can feel that this needs to happen for them. Because you're not going to be their mommy and their daddy and, you know, their, their husband and their wife. And you're not going to clean them up after them and make all the money, you know, while they just sit there and go, oh, save me. You know, the energy is very specific and it's very... It's, you know, to you, it's kind of draining. You know, I think that's why you're just like, mm-mm, no, thought this would be worth it, but no. They're going to have to kind of get a hold of themselves. Yeah, I mean, and this is a, a young woman, the energy that I'm getting. Yeah, and you know, with this card here, they're like, oh my God, I'm like, so that, I'm like, that flamingo, not flamingo, what is this, uh, peacock. You know, a beautiful young woman who visually has a lot to offer. And you know, switch the roles as they revert, or you know, that resonate, but you know, this woman thought, oh, I'm a prize, you know, look how beautiful my feathers are and look how gorgeous I am. I'm a young woman. And, you know, she thought that there would be lots of suitors. And how could anyone, you know, not want to be with her? But she was so caught up in her physical appearance, there's no depth. You know, she thought she could get you know, the one who has all the money, like she was, this is a very shallow, shallow person. And I can see why you had to walk away, even though you do love them. It's kind of like it's a soul connection, but you're not willing to play with them on this level. You're like, you need to either show up or shut up. 
And this person is completely dumbfounded. Like, but I'm beautiful. And look how beautiful I am. You know, and, and this is what, this is an acquisition, you know, like I'm something to put on your, your arm. Mm -mm. You're like, nope, nope. I want an equal. You know, and the two um, sons over there, it looks like one's happy, one's kind of sad. Like you were sad that they showed up in such a shallow manner that they got so caught up in their physical appearance in the 3D world that you're like, wow, there's nothing behind here. You know, you were excited. You thought, oh my God, this is the one. You know, she, whoever this person is, because it's very feminine in nature, she's in her distorted divine feminine, very distorted. She thought, I have the power, I can do what I want, I'm so beautiful, I'm so young, I'm so this, I'm so that. And you're like, mm, you don't got a whole lot to offer here, girlfriend. Um, you know, because you're not that shallow type. Let's see. There's forgiveness here. Like, I think you feel a little guilty that you walked away. You know, it's kind of like walking away from someone who you love, but you know that you have to do it. I think, you know, you're an attractive person too, and there's a part where you guys were mirroring each other, but you were much farther along in your path than this person is. And so it made you realize, you know, like, a swan might be beautiful, but if there's no depth, there's nothing. And it's making you have to go within and them as well. What is this person thinking? Right now they're numbing themselves, probably seeking the company of other people. But I can tell you right now, it's it's a very dark road that they're on right now um, because they're so in their shallowness that they can't take the appropriate positive action. And I think that you're trying to pray about this or meditate about this and go, wow, this is, this is awful, this is heartbreaking. You know, you're feeling like you're forcing this person into a new direction and you're hoping to God it's, or whomever you pray to, um, towards the light. Yeah, because there's a lot of shadow work that needs to be done. And I, I can feel that you realize your shadow work that needs to be done, but they... And I think you know this. They're going to have to go through a much darker, darker road. They're going to have to go and um, experience some really messed up situations so they can gain the depth that's needed for the two of you to be together. Yeah, and this is, this is to me, is not representing the fall. This is representing this. They're going to have to fall. They're going to have to go to that dark place inside. You know, you're going to have to have patience, and I think you know that. You know, it's like, it's hard for you because you know that you met this person who is significant to you, but you you have to go cold. You have to go cold on them. You have to go winter, you know. You have to freeze them out because they have to go through this to get to the other side. 
you know, patience, divine timing. So you, you understand this. You don't like it. You don't like this at all. It's quite irritating and maddening to you. You know, because this per person is amused to you. Like, they're your inspiration. You know, they're fun to be around. But if there's anything else than that, you can't go forward with them. I mean, you have big dreams with them, but you see them as something else. And for right now, this is what has to happen. You're going to be able to connect with them on, you know, the dimensional energetic level, but not in the physical right now. What messages does this person want to share? They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with you and be honest about each other's feelings. But I think that you've done this and that's why you've had to go cold. They want reconciliation with you really bad. But you know it'll turn out to be kind of the same thing. They want you to marry them. Like this person wants all the traditional stuff, but they don't have the depth that you need. The depth that they deserve. And you know they're worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. So there's, you know, a lot of, there's divine timing, divine timing, and patience. So this is what it's going to require. I applaud you for being able to walk away and have the patience for it. You know, it says you deserve love and you are lovable and they need to know that they are lovable. But they have to love themselves, and they don't. They want someone else to love them to prove that they're worthy. You know, and in the meantime, all you can do is do your own work. On the bottom of the card is children. It says, your life is being affected by children. All right, Capricorn, I hope this was helpful. I know it was a little heartbreaking, but you're doing the right thing. Stay strong. Um, you know, in the meantime, you might want to work on yourself or d date other people. But actually, let's pull what's other messages they want to give to you. Yeah, you are their everything. They're electrified by you. Forgive me, I have never felt this way before and I do not know how to act. And they really don't. They don't know how to act because they don't have the depth. But through this, they're going to gain it. All right, Capricorn, you take care. Please leave me a like, share, and subscribe, and let me know how this resonated with you. I know this was a very specific story, but generally I do pick up on very specific stories. So thank you very much. Enjoy your October. Bye-bye.